up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Irene so for today's video I decided to do this very simple classic winged eyeliner red lip makeup tutorial I love how it turned out I think it looks just so like classy and just I don't know like simple I kind of look like I'm going to like a business meeting or something but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video before you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that little bell icon so you get notified every single time I post a new video. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already filled out my brows and I set them down with brow gel. Now for the look that we're doing today, flawless skin is very, very important because we're doing something very simple. There's minimal eyes, but we do have a bold lip. So I would say flawless skin is definitely important in this look. We're going to start off with a moisturizer. I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion and I really have been loving this stuff. I'm just going to moisturize my entire face. Um, I have really, really dry skin. So a moisturizer like this is really good for me. Okay, and now while that's settling down, I'm going to prep my lips. I've been using the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. This stuff is literally amazing. Like, I'm not joking you. I was really hesitant to get it because it is a $30 lip balm, but my lips are literally so dry and no other lip balm works on me, I'm telling you guys. Now we're going to move on to eyes. Now I'm not going to be doing any eyeshadow, like I said, I'm just going to be doing a wing, big lashes, a red lip, but we are still going to start on the eyes still because I still like applying my lashes, my liner, everything like that before my base. Um, so I'm going to start off with concealer and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and i use this shade light beige and we're going to use this to carve out my brows just to make it cleaner and to even up the skin tone on my eyelids and we're going to blend that out okay and now that because we're not going to go in with eyeshadow i am going to set that down and I know. And I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. What is this? The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And yeah, I'm just going to use a Morphe E48 to set that down. Now we're going to be doing the wing. And for the wing, I'm going to be using the Stiller Stay All Day Liquid waterproof eyeliner and I use the micro tip um okay I can't really explain what I'm doing but basically when I do my wing I like to start on the outside and then I just align it with the end of my brow and then kind of connect it and follow the line follow my lash line and I do like to do a thick wing if I don't have eyeshadow on just because it is the main like subject of the makeup so yeah, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, but I'm not going to talk through it just because I will ruin it and I suck at explaining things. And this is how my wings turned out. Um, I've had this problem where sometimes I literally like both wings, but they just don't turn out even. Like, they'll be a nice wing in its own way, but they'll be completely different. Um, so I am going to continue on, and then we can fix it later on. We can touch over it. Um, lashes will make it look better. Then we can touch over with concealer and then extra liner, whatever we need. But for now, we're going to leave it. Um, I don't think I can get it any better, honestly. Oh, I need to sneeze. <coughs> like I said, we want a nice flawless base, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Face Studio Pore, Pore Minimizing Primer. I've really, really been liking this recently. Um, it's drugstore, very affordable, and it just makes my skin look very, very smooth. So, yeah. 
For the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I really, I really like this and I haven't used it in a bit, so I thought I'll just use it today. I love these, the smell of this as well. It smells like, um, it kind of smells like the powder. They have like a baby powder scent to them, but I really, really like it. And now I'm just going to apply my lashes and I like to apply my lashes with a pair of tweezers just to get super close to the lash line. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, and then we're going to let that dry down a little bit and let it settle down before we like mesh it with our real lashes. So now I'm going to go in with foundation and when I want to get full of the skin, I like to use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I am in the shade Punjab. Today I'm going to buff it out with my Morphe M439 brush just because we want that full, full coverage, that flawless skin. I'm going to mesh my falsies with my real lashes. First, I'm gonna go in with an eyelash curler. This one's just by Tarte. This one's pretty old. I wanna get a new one, but it still works. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara just to the roots of my real lashes. Just to further blend everything together, you know? I'm going to apply some concealer right underneath our eyes and to the center of our face to brighten and highlight. And then I'm also going to use this concealer to kind of clean up the edge of that wing there because it's a little bit of, it's a little bit messy on this side. But I'm also gonna apply some here just to like even it out a little bit. Using the same Fenty. Oh, oh my god, I got powder everywhere. <gasps> Lovely. Oh, my thing is in red. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty powder just to bake underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna try and not open this powder for a few days and just use the leftover on my table because let's see powder. This powder is really expensive. And I'm not in the mood to waste any of it. So, love that. Might as well set the rest of my face with that exact same powder off the table. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in the shade Island Ting. I'm going to use my favorite Morphe brush to bronze. This is the Morphe M527. Ever since I got this brush, I used to be obsessed with this with this Zoeva brush, it was like the contour one that's kind of like this, but a little bit smaller and a little bit firmer. Um, and that's more for contouring. Um, but I really love this brush because it just gives me like an airbrush, like bronzed look, you know what I mean? I'm now going in with blush and today I want to use my NARS Orgasm because I haven't used this in a while. And it's so pretty. So I'm just going to use my Morphe E4. I've really been like loving blush the past year or so because I remember I used to like not like blush. But I've really been loving it. Just adds colour to your skin, you know. Adds colour to your face. Blends the contour well with the, with the highlight. This looks super pretty. Hold on, drink break. I'm going to be using Becca's Champagne Pop because 
I love this highlighter and I don't use her enough. Like, is my light picking that up? I hope it is because this is amazing. Like, actually amazing. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be doing a red lip and today I'm going to use a lip liner because if you've noticed in my past, last couple of videos, I suck at doing lipstick, like I literally suck at it. I try not to like show it, but I suck at doing lipstick. So where did my red lipstick go? It disappeared on me, lovely. For my lip liner, that's a lighter, that's not the lipstick. For my lip liner, I'm going to be using the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Femme Fatale. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you can't, I'll just leave it on the screen. And I'm just going to out my out. I'm just going to outline my lips. And then I'm going to fill them out with my Too Faced Melter Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, this is just a mini from like a holiday collection. This I believe this is not available anymore, but they do have plenty of other reds. And this one's in the shade Cinnamon Bear. And these smell amazing. Like I'm not even kidding. Okay, not too bad. Whatever, I give up. And then last of all, lastly, I'm going to spray my face and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to melt all the powders in together and just to ensure that my makeup lasts all day. Oh, I should buy a fan or something. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below and click that little bell icon so you get notified every single time I post a new video. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.